hello guys welcome to another tutorial here in this video we will explain how to use themes that is available in dynamics 365 business applications themes are nothing but a very exciting feature in dynamics 365 by who is using uh, the theme we can change our look and feel of the web ui components like entity forms and the header footers and the default logo of Dynamics 365 user interface. So without wasting time, let's move on to the practical thing. So to do that, we have to select the advanced settings. And in the advanced settings, we have to choose the customization section. In the header convert, you will find a option called the settings, then customization. And here, uh, there you go, it is saying as theme. So click on the icon here option. When you click the themes icon, you will find uh, there are some uh, default themes or there are multiple themes that is available in the uh, Dynamics, 365, Dynamics 365 platform. You can see here. CRM blue theme, CRM default theme, CRM uh, orange theme, and green theme D365. So these are all the themes that is already available in the platform, or someone has been created. So uh, we will all we will create uh, just like this theme uh, on our own color color structure. Okay. So for do to do that, you have to click on new button. So when you click on the new button, it will ask for some information like what should be the theme name. Let's give a theme name called as Royal Blue, let's say. Okay, Royal Blue theme. And for the logo, as I do not have any logo, so um, I cannot select any logo, but uh, uh, for for uh, for this tutorial, let's quickly design a logo for now. So open the paint paint app. So we will quickly design a uh, logo for our article. Just write down something. Let's do some designs here, okay? I'm just doing a simple logo. Just increase the size a bit. okay so i have just designed a simple logo and i will just cut it out okay let's save it logo and the format should be png okay so now i have created my logo now i will click on the uh, search button or lookup button of the logo then click on new because i want to create a web resource of type png upload upload my logo from my system so let's say royal blue logo so this is the web resource creation uh, screen where uh, 
where the system is allowing to create a logo. Give a name of web resource, descriptions, my theme logo, and type select as PNG format and click on choose file. Here you have to select the uh, logo that you have just created. So this is the logo I have just created. Now I will save. and publish so i can close this window and i will again refresh this parent uh, uh, window where we are creating the new theme option because if we not not refresh then the web research which has been created just uh, before some seconds that will not uh, display in the lookup field so again give the name of theme royal blue theme and select the logo go down and look for more records and search here with a wildcard uh, character with star college royal So I can see this is my logo. I can add it and tooltip I can give. So this logo tooltip is nothing but when you move your mouse on the logo, then what the tip will show. So this is Dynamics Royal, let's say. Navigation bar color, let's say it is so we always have to use the hexadecimal character let's say this is for blue that's why zero 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 ff so this will create a uh, blue pattern okay and so this is the navigation bar field color so this this navigation bar color will change according to the uh, color code that we have given color code starts from 00 0 0 0 0 0 2 uh, f f f f f f so there is a color pattern that if you search here if you don't know how to color pattern uh, used then you can search google and you can learn the uh, color patterns here okay so this is the hexa code that you can generate here okay so, so I, I will tell you the color codes and etc in a separate tactical for now let's do some uh, color coding here So main color let's change it to and give a ascent color here okay so for all this default entity color and default entity you know default custom entity color all uh, information that you can change here page header field color you can change here also to make it uh, blue and the panel color you can change it also to blue so it's all about change creating a pattern of colors that you want to have your Dynamics 365 UI should look like. Now shave. So my theme is shaved now. Now if you want to uh, 
see a preview of this theme then you can click on preview which will give a preview of your theme that would uh, that will look like when you publish the theme so this is the theme that uh, will be published if you click on publish but you can see the color is showing as gray so which is not correct so now we have to exit preview and change the color structure of the form now we have to change this to white text color let's change it to white and let's click let's see the review preview and now you can publish the theme to see if it is working fine or not so let's move back to the home page when you click on the logo you can see you go to the home page and refresh this to see if our theme has been applied or not so you can see we have a blue color in our navigation bar and we have a and we have our own logo here so to make your dynamics 365 user interface better you have to you have to think which color you have to choose so there is a site called as HTML color codes which will give you the color codes when you move your uh, uh, pointer on a pattern chart okay so this is the color code that we can use in dynamics 365 and uh, after moving this if you go if you move to the black you can see the code is all zeros if you move this to white uh, the code is all f okay so the range variation is from six times zero to six times f so in between the colors are getting generated so you can just directly copy this and use in your themes and if you want to uh, revert back to the default settings or default theme settings then you can again move back to customization and select the themes again and here in the list you have to select the default crm theme so this is the default crm theme and you can publish the theme once you publish the theme the default published uh, default theme will be applied again okay now you can refresh the home page once it is published to see if the theme the default theme has been applied or not now you can see this is what the default theme comes into uh, comes in the default package of dynamics application so thank you for your uh, time the, the, this article just explained how themes are used so the next thing is you have to identify which color combination you can use so that uh, your uh, dynamics application will look uh, um, better and uh, looks nice okay so thank you for your time cheers bye